Hello, people and junk. Tesla gun. So this, I have to get this to look like a Tesla. And if you notice, there's three little legs here, and then on this side, there's two. Um, this seems to have a big empty spot in here where I can put the gauge. But as far as these three pieces go, I do not need this one anymore. I'm going to have another window on the other side, which has uh, two other gauges, I believe. It's screwed in. I, I know nothing about fishing equipment, so hopefully I'm not just taking the whole thing apart and having to put it all back together. I still might have to Dremel it out. I'm not sure. Let's see. Nope. Still not going to move. So, time for the Dremel. The most important thing about Dremeling is make sure your soda is covered, because if you get crap in there, i got to go get another one. And in case people have been worrying which I doubt you have been. I don't need safety goggles because these are safety rated glasses. Technically, I, if I wanted more protection from it, I would get goggles, but I don't. Because, you know what, they're just eyes. So, we're going to cut this piece off. Okay, this piece is not fully out yet, so what I gotta do is hit it with a hammer anything ever gives you trouble, just get a hammer and hit it for a while. So I decided to just take it apart and then Dremel it off because it makes more s Oh god. So I'm going to be taking this apart. I'm just going to go through and take all the little screws off the side. And same here. And then I will cut off the piece I don't want and put it back together. Okay, the thing just came apart in my hand so I figured I should keep you all up to date. This thing's got some sort of weird gear spinny thing in it, and the whole spindle came out, which I don't need, so I'll just put it there. Um, but it's cool now, because we got this whole kind of cutaway section of it. Uh, now I've got to figure out how to get this little bleeder out of here, and I will come back. And I just unscrewed more of it, and it came apart in my hand. Score. I got the weird spindly piece. And this funky centerpiece. So I'm just gonna Dremel this the rest of the way off. Now that it's at least not connected, hopefully the pieces will just come out. In a perfect world, those would. And that would be exactly what was happening, but I don't think that the world loves me that much anymore. Just fold this out of the way. Ew. So they grease the parts to try and make me vomit on myself when I touch it with my thumb. Uh, I'm gonna try and pull it. If that doesn't work, I'm just gonna hit it with a hammer again. Oh, it worked! Pull up. So now I got one piece off. The second little Duma Hachi is hanging on. Wanna hear a funny story? The other day, I uh, was telling my mom I wanted to do circus uh, like sideshow stuff and she said I couldn't so just to show her if I could do it I went in the bathroom and human block headed a uh, q-tip <laughs> she was mad all right so now I have this piece off uh, it's not pretty now it's kind of fugly and I have to clean it up so I don't cut myself on it later but now we have a piece that only has four uh, points holding it on. Okay, I'm making this up as I go along. The one thing I'm looking at, though, is I don't really like the fact that this side lays so flat, and the fact that if these little knobbies weren't here, it just goes over and down, whereas this one is, uh, more bulbous, like it's rounded. This one's a little more, uh, convex. Uh, I'm not liking that. So, I'm thinking, since I do have two, I'm gonna take the other one apart, the same flat piece I'm going to try to attach to the other side so we, we end up with as a body piece that is blunt on both ends. So we'll see how that goes. It isn't actually finalized and all fit in together yet. Both sides go off and at a right angle. Uh, with the exception of these little nubbies I'm going to try and get rid of in the next video. Uh, it is the middle of the night and I am very tired. And I think that this is a good stopping point. The next thing I'm going to be working on is I'm going to be hitting... 
every dollar store, 99 cents store, thrift store, any kind of store I can to try and get a hold of any bottles that can double as the vacuum form tubes. Uh, I'm going to be printing out a diagram someone and the replica prop forms made. It's a rough estimate of how big the gun is, but it's a really cool uh, diagram that I'm going to cut out. I'm going to print out, and then I'm going to cut out in either hard plastic or wood and make the handle and the bottom part of the gun that comes up to the ball. Uh, in the meantime, I think I'm going to be working on getting a filler for the inside so you can see where the dials go. So, uh, here's my stopping point. It is the middle part of the gun. And next video, I will figure out what I have and try and put it together. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching.